Hello and welcome, welcome to the first recording of the day. Absolutely have not recorded anything else. Um, no failed TM runs and no uh, rough Snake RX uh, game plus two. <laughs> Never would have happened doing it live. Uh, we're going to do some solo challenge right now. And I've actually turned off the prelude card. So we're going back to 14 generations, back to what we kind of used to do. Uh, but there's a few more prelude cards in the game uh project cards and we're also going to do highlight draw because i'd like to play 14 gens with um some new the companies that i never played 14 gens with so point luna stands out as a ooh could be good could be good but i mean it comes with a titanium production so it probably is good let's uh let's just run it um obviously we want this like all of this is is kind of just fine it's not it's not great um what am i yeah what am i even doing with this this is this is not good honestly i think the first thing to do is play Oh, we got nitrogen rich asteroid. That's interesting. Play imported hydrogen, maybe, for two titanium, and that gets us a card. Because we played an earth tag. And then with two titanium, do I do convoy? No, I think I just do micro mills. And that's, and that's fine. We're just going to pass. That's fine. We're going to let a titanium come in. We're going to get a little bit of TR. Um... And now, these are Earth tags, but none of it's like building up Earth stuff, which is, is lame, but that's fine. I'm going to play the restricted area first. I'm going to put that beside here to get a little bit of titanium. Um, and that allows us to play this bad boy. And let's see what we drew first, just in case it's something worthwhile. It's not... Uh, let's grab more cards. Let's see if we can get something going on here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, not not exactly what I was hoping for. Um, so now, if we were playing with Preludes, this would be Gen 1. So are we really that much further ahead or behind? I would argue we're not, we're not doing super hot here. <laughs> I think that we're doing less good than if we had just played uh, Preludes normally. Yeah. Let's buy a card, because that's what I want to do. And get a little bit of industrial microbes, just to get a little bit of energy, a little bit of steel. Oh god, we're so broke. 16 TR is just not enough money. I have a lot of cards in hand, so that's fine, but... Like, oh man. We'll buy another card. Just buying cards for two bucks seems like a good idea. Stronghold isn't so bad. Let's just get our heat production up, though. Lose that energy production, it's fine. Um, that's enough for a heat bump next round. And then let's do the bribed committee, because 2TR is actually income. And uh, then we get to draw a card as well, which is nice. Uh, methane from Titan, bad, but whatever. We have um, special design, which means that if we did have the money for it, we could cheat to get the requirements without having the oxygen. But uh, I'm not sure that it's a card we're really looking to do. Here's, a, here's an Earth tag, and Mars University is always a, a good pick. If you ever do want to have keep that science option open. We're at Point Luna and we can't even play space hotels. That's pretty embarrassing. How embarrassing is it? It's pretty embarrassing. Let's play business contacts and see if we can change the fact that we have no earth tags. We cannot change the fact that we have no earth tags. Um, Sure, we'll just grab some random cards. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and when we got Radchem... Okay, well, let's play this advanced GHGs, because then that also gets us a draw of cards. Damos Down is a good card to get. 
do a heat bump. Let's just take our six bucks to the next gen. Nothing we can buy gives us an immediate benefit, so we're just gonna hold on. Just hold on. Six heat production isn't bad, but like we're going to gen six and we've put down two oceans, right? Like it's, it's not great. I wouldn't mind copying industrial microbes with a uh, robotic workforce. So that's good. We'll buy a card. Mining rights is also good. Mohole area, also good. Yeah, let's just get this mining rights going. Get some titanium out of it. And then... Even though I have Mars University, I'm just going to play Robotic Workforce now. Because I'd rather just get this stuff kind of coming in. A little bit more steel, a little bit more energy, diversify... Um, and then let that titanium pile up just a little bit more. It'd be great if we could get up to four plant tags. That would be, like, absolutely insanely good. We get to go to 14 gens, so I don't feel as bad for a couple of things here. But science, I guess we just beeline for, for anti-grav? Do we need energy production badly? Not really. Like, we, we could use it, but we don't need it. Even something like Deimos Down would get us a couple of uh, heat productions for free here. Maybe before going for science, we get Mohole. Mohole Down. Buy a card first. Acquired Company. Finally, some earth. This earth tag gives us a card and some income. And it's our second earth tag, which means it allows space hotels to be played. I think that was very fortuitous for us. And while we're on the making money train, do I want to play corporate stronghold? Not really. Let's take all our money to the next round and just, uh... You know what, though? The money's pretty important. Let's get a little bit of money coming in. <coughs> uh, just in here. It will. It's minus two points, but we're almost sure to get some more points. We have minus four points on cards right now. That's pretty impressive. For a game where we're trying to get high scores. Um, nothing I need to grab, which is nice. Another card, please. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now we do Mars University. And that's going to give us a card, uh, cycle. Methane from Titan. I think it's too late for you. We are at three scientific tags. Um... Next up, how many plant tags do we have? We actually have a couple in our hand, which is nice. Standard technology. Um, we, I'm not sure that we have enough tags right now to even get to a, or to anti graph, but if we start building that way, it gives us the card cycles, which allows us to get even closer. So, like, it's not that bad to try to get close. Because we're constantly getting more cards and more cycle. Towing a Comet is quite nice. Uh, open City is just way too far away for me to care about. Um, Imported Nitrogen has an Earth tag on it. Uh, what? We have 18 bucks. I wish we had one more Ocean. Which we could do and then play Moss. Okay, I think that's worth it. So we do that, then we play this bad boy, which is going to come on, come with the plants that we need. Um, 
to play Moss, I need to make some money back from this play. So I unfortunately have to put my ocean here. And that gives me enough plants to get the greenery. Beside our city, which is nice. And then, oh no, oh yeah, and then we play Moss, which gives us the plant back. The plant production back. Okay, 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 that's good, that's good. So we have 10 money income now, which is, is nice. Uh, and we're going to Gen 10. We haven't really done that much terraforming, but again, we get to go to Gen 14. So there's, it's not awful. Ecological zone and greenhouses. And insects. I think that these cards together are going to do something phenomenal for us. Believe me or not, here I come. And uh, because we need a lot of heat to win this game, I think that it makes sense uh, just to mole hole for a second. We don't have enough science, do we? Five science. Six science. Not enough science to get to seven science. So let's just get this heat production going. Way up here in the corner, that's fine. 11 heat income is nice. Mining area. Huh. I do like mining area. Alright, let's take our money to the next gen. Uh, if we can just play... How many more? Two more Two more plant tags? Then we can get a ton of plant income. This is good. And this is these are earth tags, but we're not uh, we're not feeling that great about earth tags right now. We're a little bit too late to the party. Okay, so mass converter. Um Bye bye special design or fish. I guess fish, like it's fine. We don't we don't need fish. Then viral do we have any space tags? We do, but viral enhancers. I don't think we have so many space tags that I care that deeply for satellites. But at the same time, satellites is as much income as building industries. So, don't know why I overvalue building industries. Let's get rid of special design. Even though it comes with a uh, card cycle, it's not that great. Immigrant city is actually pretty good. So, now we play anti-grav. So, now we have $2 off of everything. And a lot of things have just become very f good for us. I mean, Radchem is great because it's two points, but everything else is important in its own way. I guess mining area just isn't lining up for us. Get out of here. Um, SF Memorial is fine. All right, so now we have steel, two steel. That is a two steel income, which is nice. Then we've got titanium. So two titanium is four income. And then radchem. You know what? Radchem is income, so fine. We'll do that as well. And we still have four. All right, there we go. Now the next gen, this gen right now, we're going to try and get out all of our plant tags yes 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 that's what we're gonna do uh we love discounts and we love the ability to put up oxygen i even like space elevator a lot but we have a lot to do with our space already and we're gonna buy a card okay we have two heat bumps we're gonna stack another round of discounts right after we play Steelworks. So Steelworks, we're gonna put in four titanium, or four steel, and then we're gonna get two steel and an oxygen bump back from it, so that's awesome. Um, you're two titanium, but you make things cheaper. Okay, so now, what do we got? We have one, one plant tag. 
So ecological zone. I don't think there's even a great place to put it. Just get a plant somewhere, I guess. Get two plants, but block our city. Now we'll go here. It's fine. Maybe we'll end up putting a greenery in between. Uh, we're going to do it for half point animals instead of two plants, even though two plants would get us a greenery right now. I'm going to about to play... Um, about to play greenhouses, which is even better. It'll get us the plants we need. And then, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I do have enough still. Perfect. So then we'll go grab two more plants here. And now I have three plant tags. Just double checking. So we go here. And what bam So that gets us the heat bump, a bunch of TR, and four plant income. Yo ho ho. Good stuff. Good stuff. So now we have discounts on cards. We have lots of plants coming in. We've got some heat. We've got this generation and then two more. Um, we got a lot to do. But Decomposers really synergizes with those plant tags. Vesta is way too late to do anything other than slow us down from actually winning. So I'm going to be smart and not do it. Uh, we might get a two-point Jovian card right now that I just made unplayable and eh, we did not perfect so immigrant city and noctis city those are good i mean demos down here is really good just keep the heat going i am afraid of if i bought uh immigrant city and noctis city i wouldn't um wouldn't have the energy I need to do the next round. And even if I do buy one of them, I would need to do energy tapping. So arguably there isn't as much gain there. I really would like insects. I think that would be a great grab. And I can do it, so I probably should. But maybe I'll do Olympus Conference first. Because it just costs me steel that I'm not using. Um... Oh, Underground City, I didn't even realize I had that. That would really kill my energy income, though. I don't think it's what we need, though. We're not getting that many granaries. I mean, maybe we're about to start getting more because I'm going to play things that are good. But, you know, you can't get them all. Oh, I just reduced my energy income. Okay, good to know. Now I have to buy something back up. Ooh, strip mine. We we don't need strip mine, do we? Do we? Oh no. I'd rather buy, I, I'm buying cities, so I wanna get greeneries is my argument against it, but we need so many oceans. So I may have just looked a very gift horse in the mouth. So. Viral Enhancer. I think it's better to get a plant than a one-third point. Uh, let's please get this greenery down range. Building it around where Noctis City will go, which is good. Insects is now available. It would go well with algae, but I can't do it. I mean, I'll buy this card first, just in case something gets me a plant tag, but... Well, flooding could lead to algae. But no, nah, not, not anytime soon. So, yeah, let's insects. That gets us three more plant income and a boosted plant, which is nice. Then we'll get one more energy income so that we can still do our clicks. And, oh, I didn't even grab two cards. Oopsies. Lunar Beam nuke not bad not bad not great but like not bad we have a we have a good chance of not losing which isn't the best thing to say but it also isn't the worst like there's a, there's a decent chance that we uh we get some good stuff out of there. there's some ocean we can get some card cycle with our solar wind power grass is a lot of plants we have three more card draw and we have more steel coming in like we have, we have a good chance here. We have a good chance. We 
I keep saying good chance. We have a chance. We're not completely screwed. Uh, let's look at some cards. Do we have Earth Office Greatness? I think we have some Earth Office Greatness. We are Point Luna. It would be wrong not to grab Earth, Earth Office. Discounts on uh, Earth is very poggy. Uh, the mine is a steal to get a steal. It's not really worth the card. It's better even just to sell it, so cycling it is great. Security Fleet is not what we're looking for, but that is fine. Mineral Deposit is good if we have something to spend our steel on, which we do. Um, are we nuking somewhere? Maybe. Maybe we're going to nuke in here. We don't have to, though. And we can immigrant city. Yeah, I guess we nuke in there. It gets us a card. It gets us the heat bumps. It's 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 good. It's five bucks. We get four bucks back. We lose two points, but we get the two TR. Like, don't even, don't even think twice. It's good. Then we're gonna put a greenery here. That oxygen bump gets us a heat bump. Gets us an ocean. I think that I put it here. Uh, which means that I can very happily play immigrant city there. We have a lot of money right now, so... And we have a lot of good cards to play as well, so let's not get too crazy, but... Okay, this is a heat bump and a heat bump. We need two more heat bumps next gen. Um... Let's Immigrant City. Wait, do I have a way of getting the energy production back up? I forgot to check. Oopsies. Big, big oops. Uh, yeah, I do have some energy coming in here. Do I have... I do have things to do with my titanium, so let's not spend all our titanium for nothing. It gets us a card. Gets us a card cycle. There's energy if I need it. It's really expensive, though. But I have a lot of steel, so... No, I'd rather, I'd rather just play Lunar Beam, I think. Got another card coming in because it's an earth tag. We're one heat production away from being able to get two heat bumps. But we don't have another heat production coming. Uh, we could do this oxygen bump and then this Noctis City. But I think we're fine just doing the Noctis City. Like, it's a pretty good Noctis. And then we have so many plants that we're going to get a lot of money from placing adjacent to oceans. And then we have way more plant cards. So, like, everything's turning up uh, for us. Like, everything's everything's turning up. I should have placed a greenery in this little pocket for a steal and a bunch of money back. And I think I still can. Because I can bushes... Which synergizes with like a million things, which is great. And then I can algae, which again synergizes with a million things, which is great. And then we can grass, which will again synergize with a million things. And they're all two bucks cheaper because we have anti-gravity technology, which is fantastic. Um, do I even have something that uses steel in my hand though right now that I want to play? Not really. I can only play this. It's worth a point, but still, it's the it's the most money back right now while I wait to get these oceans filled out. Um, uh, yeah. So we never got that heat production we needed. So what we're gonna do is play insulation. And we'll convert seven production. So then we'll have seven plus the one we already have. And we're golden for one heat bump. Uh, I don't need to play that animal right now. Because I can just play it next gen and enhance it by one. If I played it now, I could enhance it for the plant instead. But I'm not sure I want to play that card. So Asteroid is fantastic. Investment loan is really good. Uh, then we have two more card draw. Another card draw and bam an oxygen so now we need two oxygen bumps two heat bumps and a ton of oceans it's the oceans that are a little bit tricky right now so the investment loan not only gives us money but it gets us a card 
Uh, lots of good points cards, but not really um, a couple things that aren't great, which is too bad. Get a little bump here. I don't know what we're going to do for these oceans yet. We're still still really trying. This will give us another oxygen or another card draw. So let's go ahead and just get a bunch of plants, which will be helpful. And decomposers, which is a point. And ecological zone, zone which is a point. And a TR. So like that was really good. Um, we need oceans. We need a lot of oceans. So let's buy oceans. We just need oceans. So I'm going to buy oceans. How about that? I need to buy three oceans. That's pretty expensive. Not going to lie. But. Well. You know what? I could play this tag. This this is two points. But it gives me a pl uh, card cycle. Uh, which could give us a heat. Or an, ox or an ocean for cheap. It did not. It gave us a one point animal though, which makes me sad because I could have put my two animals on that instead. Uh, no more science tags though, so again, we're gonna buy an ocean. Uh, oh God, so what's gonna be the best thing? We have a lot of places where we could buy cities for like three points. We have like livestock, which is the card you just saw me grab. Uh, Enhances with viral enhancers to be quite good um, immediately because it's two points for 11 bucks. Um, is that better than getting a city and then completely filling it up? Like, I'm pretty sure if I get a city, um, it'll be worth two points and then three points and then four points for 25 bucks. Oh, Lava Tube Settlement. I can play that. Well, that gives me another place to put stuff around it. Yeah, so let's get Lava Tube. Overpay and get a card. Because now I have a place to put my extra greenery, so I don't feel as compelled to buy a city. Protected Valley doesn't let me put a city or a greenery in a place I like. So I think we just play as many two-point cards as we can, right? This is two points, that's a point, that's a point. Um, and then arguably buying a, a city here is still really good. I think I still buy that city, honestly. it's I could buy it here instead, but now I'm not worried about overkilling the amount of plants I have. So, so that's really good. And then, yeah, we have two two-point cards, which I can play pretty easy. This is one point per animal, so we enhance it for one animal, then we click it for another animal. Ooh, if we get another plant tag or animal tag, we will also get uh, that ecology thing. So I still have small animals. That's a two-point card now because it pumps uh, itself for a, a half-point animal. It's at one every two, but ecological it gets up. So that's good. Decomposers is fine. Um, tropical Resort is two more points, baby. And then all we need to do is sell a whole bunch of our cards. We've won, by the way. I, I should have said it out loud with more excitement. We've gotten all of the metrics maxed out. So we have won this run. It's just a matter of scoring points. Let's go. And now we have 18 plants. We can't get up to 24. So we'll just place it here. And instead of sharing a point with the filthy neutral, we'll just put one in the desert. Sucker. Done. Uh, 17 points on cards is not that many, but we have a lot of greeneries and a lot of a decent number of cities. 16 points were the cities. So 108 points. We've done better with Preludes. This was a pretty weak start for us, but then I feel like it's easier to win in 14 generations. Not necessarily easier to, like, crush the points and stuff, but it's just easier to win because you have more of that, like, you can see down the pipe, whereas in Prelude, you have 12 generations, so those first generations have to be good or you're just, you're just burned. So I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.